Hello, this is HK Training Center. In this time, let's learn about unitary nesting, which can use an origin jig sample work. Unitary nesting is nesting only single part. This can be useful when working on origin, zero comma zero. Need to nest single part to cut one or two parts for sample. First, let's find out how to use unitary nesting. Select folder in Nesting Explorer. Click Unitary in Home tab. And select Part to Nest in Part Viewer. Now input margin. Left, right, up and down to origin. Or sample work. If material and part size is same, input margin zero. If part is slightly larger than material. So try to stick an origin. Input zero on left and down and remaining value on right and up. Then part will be nested as shown above. Now let's learn how to make machining. In Contour on Machining tab, there are various machining methods. For unitary nesting, you can use some of machining methods including manual contours, automatic contours, and part. First, let's find out manual contours and manual contours by means of two points. Manual contours is the way to cut line which is used to cut some contours apart. The difference of manual contours and manual contours by means of two parts is Leiden. Automatic contour is making machining based on shapes, which is when some holes are already cut before start. Cut holes without exterior or try to cut hole again due to hole cut failure. Because making machining based on shapes, if making machining all nested part by automatic contours, all part will be posted as single part code. So using part and contour search is impossible if cutting fails in machine. When using part, select a set of parts or automatic machining. If part size is same as material or cut by part size, can make machining by automatic machining or part. In Lantec, it doesn't make machining in exterior. If part and material size are same. So make machining with automatic machining. Part, set of selected parts. All drill cycle, all marking, all holes. Which are shown below is making only specified techniques. All drill cycle is making all shot markings. All marking is making only marking. All holes is making only holes. I'll look at the picture and tell you about the machining again. First, when using part, select a set of parts or automatic machining. If part size is same as material or cut by part size, can make machining by automatic machining or part. In Lantac, it doesn't make machining in exterior. If part and material size are same, so make machining with automatic machining. Part, set of selected parts. Second in this case, if try to cut all or few holes and some of exterior lines, make machining. When some holes are already cut before start, cut holes without exterior, or try to cut hole again due to hole cut failure, use automatic contour. Automatic contour is making machining based on shapes. And if try to cut all holes, use all holes. And then, if you want to cut some of exterior lines, use manual contours or manual contours. By means of two parts, manual contours is the way to cut line which is used to cut some contours apart. The difference of manual contours and manual contours by means of two parts is laden. Let me show you how it really works in Lantech. How to use unitary. First select unitary icon and select the part. Set the margin in sheet border. Sheet size is same as part exterior size. Sheet border is zero. Nesting like this. Let's machining. If part size is same as material or cut by part size, can make machining by automatic machining or part. Second in this case, 
It tried to cut all were few holes and some of exterior lines. For example, if you want to cut jig work, left is zero, bottom is zero, right is 10 is 10, If try to cut few holes, use automatic counter. Select counters if you want to cut. All holes, try to cut all holes. Manual counters only make machining on selected line, so piercing mark may remain at the beginning. Select line to cut and click start and end point to apply. Manual counters by means of two parts can make lead in when cutting line. The angle value is important because there is not enough margin in material. It will dangerous if lead-in is longer than margin. So be careful when input lead-in and angle before select line. And click start and end point to make machining. Check nearby starting point to see lead-in. Until now, I've explained unitary nesting which is used for jig or sample work and other cutting techniques. Next time, let's learn about machining techniques. Thank you.